He's the only director who can scream at her from from the monitor. Hey, Dimbal, you're faking it. Do it right. You know, I'm not liking everyone imitating me on this fucking interview. <laughs> No, I just love um, gory stuff. Like when the when the blood splashes and I'm slicing everyone. It's it's it, it is. So Deepak, a very funny thing happened with him. He, for some reason, thought that he was shooting in the first schedule. So he got into this whole space, and I said, "Dude, you're it's a bit premature." So he's like, "Why? Why are we by?" I said, "Because we are in November and you're shooting in Jan." He said, "What?" <laughs> he said, "My wife is getting scared of me at home because I keep looking at her in this really weird, pervy way, and she's just like, 'What's wrong with you, dude?'" He said, "Nothing." Okay. And welcome to uh, the show, Rajiv, Aisha, Radhika, Hangira. And the show is called Masand Ki Pasand. The three bahus and the sas. Or, or three lovely ladies and token gent. <laughs> oh, great! Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, it's good to see you all. We are, of course, here to talk about your show, Sas Bahu and Flamingo. But I'm going to get straight to it. Within the first seven minutes of the show, I felt like this could easily be called sex, drugs, and decapitation. <laughs> Was the plan always that we'll get them by the balls from the moment in? Was that the idea? See, the idea of the of the uh, cold open and bringing you into the world's pretty hard i think is to just say listen this is the place we are going to be in mm. so buckle up and you know in, i mean initially we had various ways of opening the show which we did on the edit and i feel that uh, that wasn't true to the show so the idea is for the audience to say okay listen this is the world get the ground running get get it and don't be apologetic about it you know it feels like You want to tell everyone? Sure, we may have borrowed our title from the Sas Bahu shows, but this is nothing like that. No, it's nothing like that. Not that I've, I, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not very familiar with. You watched what they were, but, but, but I, I, I mean, I know it was a very popular gar, gar, format. Seen all of, all of those, of course. Yeah, yes, I mean, yeah. I mean every uh, every Sunday, na? Every and my reruns and daily, yeah, I to, daily, daily. Sorry, I see. Yeah. You know, I want to say that whether it comes to the sex or the violence, you're not pushing boundaries. um i'm not saying that the sex is explicit i'm saying it's provocative i mean the mo- you're introduced riding a guy cowboy we are set strapped in you know getting to orgasm and the violence there are there are tongues being cut there's uh, heads being sliced it's visceral yeah but i think it's i'm not it, complaining it, no i i know you're not you're sounding quite excited <laughs> as you're saying <laughs> I mean, it is unlike anything else, right? We've no, seen. I, I. But I feel what we have definitely been extremely conscious of is keeping it very aesthetic. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it does push the boundary, and sure, people don't want to. Some people may not want to see that much uh, violence. So, but it's not done just for shock value. Yeah. I think it's it's done very sort of. Uh, it's very conducive to the narrative, to the world, uh, to showing the characters the way they are. I mean, you are talking about uh, her character Shanta's introduction, and it is a very unique introduction. <laughs> There's a reason for it because she's a chemist and she's just made a pill that makes uh, two minutes feel like two hours, and she's testing the pill to see how long an orgasm can stretch uh, in a cerebral context. You know, I feel like I feel like the the show is a very interesting sort of desi spin on everything from Narcos and Succession to The Godfather, um, and yet it's really its own unique thing. it is the story of a of a family business run by the women the drug business without the men of the house ever finding out what's going on you don't really think very highly of men's intelligence do you oh, he's a shady guy <laughs> he's a shady guy you're asking me i mean all of you yeah in the real life or in in the show i suppose it, i i suppose if you if you put that in the show you believe that men can be well so... i i i wouldn't knock men that that much that but hard, i yeah. definitely feel that women are uh, the more evolved uh, part of a uh, human species for sure it's 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 unfair to break it down and i really feel men are very black and white whereas yeah. women are extremely nuanced uh way more complex and uh, frankly way more intelligent do you agree i guess you can't not <laughs> no <laughs> but i mean you know spare a thought yeah he's just like savage men <laughs> No, we actually put it very uh, nicely that women are far more complex and they're wired very, very differently. If, mm. you, if you see them in a 
they're, they're wiring in a box. It'll just be like all coiled up like this because no, it is so. I, I don't. I don't mean to cut you off again. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. But you're used that's to it. Life. Yeah, you're used to it. How we it did this in, the, it in all the Pretty last. Pretty much looks uh, like a set. Of... <laughs> because the last time I I said yeah, something, yeah, you said, "Hey, I don't talk. Don't talk in the middle." <laughs> Do I talk like that? You did. I said not to imitate me in public. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. But I'm saying that uh, purely in in in. Uh, Contextually, I mean, to the show, mm. uh, for women to run a business like this in a lawless place, yeah. they've created this world, uh, and I think it would be a very different world if the if men had done that, right? Uh, purely because also we've seen that world, right? Yeah. Many times over. I guess yeah. yeah. It's not, but it, it that uh, Dimple's character Savitri has a much. Bigger uh, plan in mind. She right. was someone who was marginalized. She was uh, left f for dead. Mm -hmm. The world turned its back on her, and she sort of rose like a phoenix. And she comes back, and she says, "Now, when I was down and out, and no one was there for me, now that I've survived, I am going to now create my own world with my own sense of morality, my own system, and in this fictitious, lawless place that they exist." Uh, Everyone who is a Savitri will get a place to stay, right. and will get a, uh, a uh, will be protected here, and will have a life here, and will have respect. And uh, in that sense, she's extremely generous. Mm. Uh, and most of those women who run the cooperative, which is the front for the drug business, right. which is called Rani Cooperative, uh, are not aware of the drug business that goes on under the Haveli, right. which is run by the widows. Yeah. Who were the first ones who joined her along the, her journey, and they are the ones who had started with a, in the story who had started with an Afim business, and then it grows and grows, and then she starts this whole. She's like the biggest drug lord in this side of the sphere. I want to come back to the duality of it, but I want to ask Isha and Angira as well. Um, do you remember reading it for the first time? Yes. And do you remember how you felt? I, for me, the group reading. We had a reading before we started the show, and that's when I really got a sense of the show. For me, when everybody was there and everybody mm -hmm. read out their parts, and that's when I really understood the world, and I was really nervous, and I had to run away from Bombay to quickly prep for it because I, I thought this is really far away from uh, from me. <laughs> yeah, we were all given um, our parts. parts. Mm -hmm. We were not all given the show in yes. in, in its totality. totality. So, yeah. so what happens is when you read that, you are actually able to see <coughs> the entire arc. Of the character, just your Yours, character, yeah. and uh, from point A to point B, there's so much that's happening in your life that it just excites an actor, any any actor, when they read mm. uh, about their part, because it those things are not written in paper as much as it was written out here. Right. You know everything. Like she could be, she she could have different shades, mm. and it's all portrayed. In those, in that bunch of papers Sheets, yeah. that we had, so so that is very exhilarating to know yeah. that, you know, firstly that the maker is putting in that kind of effort and that kind of faith in you right. to actually perform this entire arc. arc right. So that is very exciting. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know what I think also why these characters are so rich and yeah. colorful is because of their world. The world is so complicated, yeah. and therefore they are not. Uh, at all uh, perfect, or rather, what we would like people to be, right? Uh, is subscribing to how societal norms are. Yeah. So, and within the family, also, it's a very dysfunctional family. In fact, there's one scene towards the end where uh, Radhika's character Shanta tells Dimple mm. that uh, you gave us a. I mean, you you we didn't ever have a normal family. Right. But now, what you've done to our family, playing your little game mm -hmm. of where she doesn't even know whether it's of succession. Right. What no one really knows what her ultimate plan is. Goal is yeah, yeah. And we always keep it like that. We keep it ambivalent because the idea is that it's very difficult to decipher what is going on in this okay. um, matriarch's mind. And uh, so she tells she tells her that. You know, you at least you gave us a family, right. but now you have in your own game split destroyed. this family but up and it's destroyed good, it's it. It's a good thing that you brought this up because I want to ask all of you actually: How do we feel about Rani Ba? Because I feel like, I feel like she's, 
I mean, is it fair to say that she's more invested in the business than she is in the happiness of her kids? She's she seems to be perfectly okay that those boys spend like twelve <laughs> days in a year, and these and her daughter in, you know, they're in the U.S. and these poor daughter-in-laws of hers, uh, this daughter of hers, are, are like helping in the family business. She seems kind of uh, selfish, mom. I don't think we have poor daughter-in-laws by any There's nothing poor about the daughter-in-laws I mean, or the daughter. I mean, she clearly doesn't, uh, yeah. she's not worried about, you know, grandkids and those, she's not that grand. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. she's not, that, that's what I'm saying. So the whole thing doesn't subscribe to, that's why when you're saying, you know, when you say, I call it Saas Bahu, it really flips around its Correct. head it because does. it goes away from, from all the stereotypes of what it should be or the, true. the, you know, the way it's packaged. I mean, yeah, she has no interest in that. She actually has groomed the, Bahus and pick them, hand pick them specifically for the business, and then she's married them off to these uh, two sons of hers. That uh, that's just not fair. <laughs> doofuses, they're, like, they're they're complete doofuses. I'm not saying anything. Okay. I, I love Ashish Kumar. I think they're phenomenal. But, but we'll get to the that. Actors we are talking about. He's, he's not calling them doofuses <laughs> in real life. <laughs> I mean, really, just yeah. Kapil and Harish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but they are. Uh, but they also have very interesting arcs. Yeah, and yeah. very important. And they get uh, they get pulled into the business finally mm. uh, when uh, when Savitri realizes that uh, now the threat of their existence has reached her doorstep. At mm. that point, she that is when she decides to take a step back. Right. You know, one of the things I loved was that bit where they're in the two boys are in the car. They're coming. They're coming home for the first time, and uh, they're speaking dismissively about their wives. Bijli garajti nahi hai, barasti nahi hai. You know, Kajal is like this, Shanta is like this, and 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 one point, and one point, uh, he says, uh, even mom's not answering the phone, and uh, and Harish goes, she's become old, yeah. And you cut to these three, these four chicks, dicing, slicing, stabbing these men. I mean, was it empowering? Just doing the action. I mean, you know, yes, that that's so always. rare. I mean, it's, uh, it's sadly in 2023, it's still rare to find the girls doing the gruesome, brutal action. I love doing action. Honestly, I love I, it. Yeah. it is so empowering. And uh, we have two fight sequences in the show. And I was yeah. looking forward to the both of them. Uh -huh. And uh, I just. I just love uh, gory stuff, yeah. like when the when the blood splashes and I'm slicing everyone. A little it, disturbing. It is, yeah. yeah, it is a part of me. I don't know. <laughs> and fighting in skirts is the yeah. best. I've uh, never I done this before. Good. Yeah, it was it was so cool because, yes. like, even the way it was choreographed, mm. it was choreographed so seamlessly that you you will not imagine them. Oh, you know how are they doing it? It's not. No, I, th I think it just all looks so But I, you know, I feel, I feel that that actually comes from what their characters are. Yeah. More than, uh, it's it's not that very stylized fighting except right. for some one little windmill thing she does That's over right. someone's back, yeah. which she insisted on doing. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, it's, it's all very hard. And, and that was my uh, brief also to the, uh, the action director, uh, Amrit. And I said that uh, it should be hard because, I mean, frankly, yeah, like I've, played rugby in my life and I used to box and I've done that and I've never seen people fight the way they fight in movies. They just right. keep hitting it, each other and nothing seems yeah. to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so here, when these guys punch, they need to punch once or twice and it's done. You don't need to keep hitting someone a hundred times and then they hit you back a hundred times. And So it's all very sort of hard and brutal and uh, very sort of close combat even though they've got firearms. Isha, did you enjoy the did you enjoy sort of the the physicality of it? जी कट्टे तो कभी चला ही नहीं है मैंने अपनी ज़िंदगी में तो मैंने definitely मेरे लिए first time था मुझे action role करना था but of course the mechanics of it is very different you know once you really get down and you have to rehearse it and get it right and of course there's a body double but I remember one day when the fighter was with me like just threw me down I was like shit this hurts and it was tough it was tough to do it for me. Uh, but uh, definitely, I think there's there's some kind of strength that just you know uh, you you kind of feel when you're in the middle of all that and taking four men down. Sure. Yeah. No, my, my I'd say out of the two episodes, my favorite scene is that dinner sequence in the second oh, episode, oh which God. is just fantastic. Now that's a dinner I would like to be. At. I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> terrific because there's so there's a lot going on on the front. And there's a lot that's going on literally sort of under away the from table. the, uh, under the table, literally under the table. 
I mean, the shot with uh, with Harish, which is Ashish's character. I mean, lifting that fork and eating the gulab jamun is, <laughs> and then and then going at that fork, like it's enjoying a, the. It's a touch. It's a touch. It's a touch. Salty. It's a touch. Salty. I mean, um, and and that actually kind of makes me um, think that what's interesting about the show is that with the visceral nature of the violence, with all of that. There's also this humor, which kind of offsets all the all the real intense drama and the violence. I mean, was that sort of fun to explore? Of course, it's always fun to keep it on a lighter note after mm. you've seen all that gore and bash head heads bashing yeah. and all of that. So, also when you watch it, there there's no there's not only action Correct. or only drama Correct. or only there's so much. in between that's happening between characters that's happening there's drama also there's so much of that humor that if you catch you catch yeah or you don't yeah, you know the characters so, are very emotionally invested in the whole thing so, so I, i i i really enjoyed doing all of that and at no point you can tell that these people are joking like it's a joke yeah, yeah. it's not it's a joke done very <laughs> it's yeah. very yeah. seriously yeah. done but it was it used to be a good break for all of us because right. we're playing such serious characters especially yeah. like it used to be for me at least i don't know about you guys <laughs> uh, like whenever i had a scene with harish right I was looking forward to that day. Like I was like, "Chalo, aaj thoda hasenge, chhere pe muskurahat aayegi." But of course, character me nahi aa sakti. But at least, jab mere pe camera nahi hai, main has to sakti hu. Kuch to kar sakti hu. Lighter day to hoga. Dinner table scene. He made Harish sit right in front of me. I don't know why you doing this. Don't do that. I'm not gonna have a straight face. Jan. So this is how we were shooting. Which is which is so nice because <laughs> if you keep it light, yeah. you're you're easier. Yeah, you're easier. We should actually eye. take a moment to appreciate Ashish, who plays Harish. Yeah, he's, he's fantastic. I mean, he's just. What was your brief to him? <laughs> just be yourself. Just, <laughs> no, that's mean. <laughs> no, in fact, he uh, auditioned. I didn't know him from uh, any earlier experiences, but I remember he auditioned, uh, and he did the entire hallucination. Yeah. Which he really that is really the centerpiece the, of the, the, of the uh, first couple the, of what do you call it? Casting director did a very elaborate setup <laughs> where he went through I don't know some some road and then up some up, means they, they that guy directed an entire also. and we yeah. an entire hallucination sequence. So I was very clear of what I didn't want to shoot, <laughs> or rather how I didn't want to shoot. But no, no, but it was such an effort and. and uh, i realized that this guy gets it mm. you know it's not that he has to have experience something he gets it and his timing is very good yeah his timing is very very good and uh, yeah i mean even varun varun was extremely he's sort very of good. Yeah. he's and very they, and they're kind of nice the foil to each other right yeah, yeah. absolutely like he's yeah. very straight anal and, and, and yeah. very straight laced and his trajectory is quite uh, i mean he's got a, he's got the best graph in fact best graph yeah you know what he's calling upon his actors to do is is complex i mean these are not your straight straight off the bat characters is he a sensitive director <laughs> is he someone who understands the 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 pain and the and really what it takes to to muster up complex emotions i mean he's had some experience actually <laughs> yeah yeah oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh the uh, no, do you want me to do the sindhol one or do you want me to do the the amul one do 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 i was like i wasn't uh, as entitled as you all i had to work in, when i was in college earn some money and so i could travel and gather stories uh huh Didn't you also? Weren't you also in the closing credit sequence of Rahul Bose's film yeah. with ants crawling inside your clothes? In my mouth. Really? In my mouth. And he still hasn't paid me for it. He's an extremely Next sensitive. Next question. Hey, let us answer that. Be extreme, quiet. Yeah, he doesn't want any praise, as right. you can see. He's uh, he's okay oh, to praise he wants us. Praise. Yeah. Okay, praise me, praise me. No, I genuinely think I think uh, his actors perform really well because he's very sensitive, mm. and the set, the way it's run, is also very actor friendly. Like there were times people were really told to like you know give us space and we were really taken care of on this set. So I think because I remember we were doing a scene and where I had to break down. It's the last episode and he was crying before me and I've never yeah. really seen that in. I mean directors come and tell you got to do this and you got to cry and this got to happen yeah. and that's got to happen but nobody really does it and Correct. nobody you can I mean a lot of them don't seem to be feeling it. Mm. I think you can really feel his material. He's really invested in his material and that's what makes you. you know you want to really be like okay i want to give it my all because somebody's you know it's somebody's vision and you want to 
be able to fulfill it to the best of your capacity. Also, he explains it so well to you that you know that you cannot fool him. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> John. Thanks. Yeah, really, John, John. you can't because he knows the character inside out, mm. back and front. Like you can't fool him, so you have to. You know that he's al he's already felt Kajal's character or Bijli's character, Shanta's every character, every character, uh, Rani Rani Ba's character. Mm -hmm already before he has actually poured it out in front of you and explained to you what it is about. Right. So, I, I yes, if that is called being sensitive, yeah. this is a very sensitive You've worked with him twice now. I've worked with him twice. In the first one, I don't think we spoke a lot <laughs> because I was, I thought that it is a make or break for my career. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> this opportunity to life me milti. So, I don't have to talk to anyone. I will only stay with my script. <laughs> And I think we, we came close in this project uh, and you know getting to know him as a person is so beautiful because it reflects so much in his work. For example, if a character is dying in his series, he won't sleep the whole night. He will, he will moan. He will be crying all night. He will be like, oh my <laughs> God, what happened to him today? I shot this. Why did I do that? Again, they're imitating me. And, oh, <laughs> But that, that just shows how... Oh, 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 oh. Right, it's his own words. It's yeah, his own, yeah. own thing. And if, so I never had a doubt that I, I was feeling a certain way after performing Shanta because she's so internal mm. and I couldn't express. And I was at a place where I didn't want to come out of my room. And the only person I knew I, I could share this with is Homie because he also was living Shanta. Right. So I just went up to him and I told him that I don't know what to do because I just keep sitting on one side of the sofa in my room and I don't feel like eating, I don't feel like moving. So many things are pent up inside me and I don't know who I can share it with, who I can trust. Because I can't trust anybody in the show. Her parents made the fatal error of coming and doing a little visit oh. in where we were shooting. And I met them and they're like, what has happened to Radhika? <laughs> With the little baby, has just become such a what has happened? I said, What has happened to her? She said, She doesn't speak to us. <laughs> she's not doing this. She's doing that. I said, She's immersed in a role here. Let the singer know. Isn't over. there a side to you that also can, can, can be like shouty? I mean, I remember Dimple telling me once, I remember Dimple telling me once that he's the only director, and, and Dimple has worked with like everyone, like Gulzar Saab and the works. He's the only director who can scream at her from, from the monitor, Hey, Dimple, you're faking it. Do it right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, I'm not liking everyone imitating <laughs> me on this fucking interview. But you no, whenever I was shooting like that. Should I tell him about that walking thing? Did yes, please, do? of course. So I was shooting for Kutte mm. with, with SBC, SBF now. Yeah. And then I was like, Chalo, finally a light day, so I have to walk and I have to do something in the character. So 200 people and it was over the shift. So I was like, I'm going to call and I'm going to talk to everyone. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. And, and he said, yes, walk and sit down, sure. And uh, rolling, action. I walk, I sat down, cut, silence. Can you fucking walk in Ashanta? And 200 people Don't on the mic. Don't lie about my character here. Yes. She's brought the other character from Bombay and she's put it into Ashanta's clothes. I can see it here. Yeah. So I suppose in the larger good, I never I mean, got you're, yelled at. No, no, you're, you're forgiven, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> he did not want to yell at. I never got yelled at. Okay, oh Just nice. Saying. Oh good. <laughs> never got, only love. Okay, oh good. Huh? You never like yelled at her? He, I got yelled at properly. No. I was so dimple man and I were both the But can I that, I mean listen, to the two of you, Angira and Isha, yeah, yeah. because you were working with him for the first time, yeah. can that yeah. shatter your confidence? No, I would not, I would never do that In to front an, of 200 people. Yeah, I would if never do that to an actor who doesn't know me. Okay. I would never do that. I mean, I by the time we were shooting and we were in a place where we knew each other inside out. And then they know. I'm not someone who will shout and then there's nothing. It goes. Right. It's, it's gone. It's, it's, it's over. Done. Yeah, it's not held. Nothing ever, ever, ever. So, the fact is that once you have that equation... Mm. And you know now this guy is a bit of a loony baba. Once in a while he'll scream, he'll love you with the same passion, he'll shout with the same passion, he'll eat with the same... Everything's... So it's that, yeah. So it's, it's taken with a bucket of salt and... But it's also... It's also... They understand what the reason is. And... Uh, I won't... I'm not unreasonable. I don't just shout. 
because you're wearing the wrong color t-shirt or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> homie there is a homie there is an inherent coolness to the characters you write to the to the kind of to the worlds that you create in your movies it's true of being cyrus it's true of finding fanny it's it's true of cocktail even um but those were very urban worlds mm. um this is not a world that one naturally sort of associates with you what to all three of you and to you specifically what do you feel like you where is that in in your opinion where is the homey touch in sasbo or flamingo and and do you all did you all feel it as well did you all kind of you know the off the, the little sort of off sense of humor i feel like it's 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 the harish character i think it's true bijli is not cool at all, all okay. <laughs> it's all of us she's actually us. bijli is yeah that's true <laughs> yeah, she's bijli is just i mean odd. on so many levels <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think all of us in no, every every character character character. are very cool. Every right. They all have uh, they all uh, yeah they they this they there's nothing predictable about it. Yeah. yeah. Is what I think. Mm. And I don't think it was done on purpose also. Like the way we It was just written that way. It was just, it was just written that way and it was never on purpose like said that oh you're different and then you're different right. and then you're no it just and yet everything just comes together mm-hmm. so seamlessly that you they are a part of the family and you can tell right although they are so you know diametrically opposite opposite each other yeah. to each other yeah also it's a very contemporary show we're That's not true. saying it's a rural it's show and it's because it's yeah. there, there's a shot where where she's where the where the the goats are grazing and there's a water no there's a there's an air purifier there's, there's a there's, dyson I mean, it's super like there's a dyson yeah, yeah. there's like an apple watch apple which watch is, where she's kind of yeah yeah no get one go get one go in yeah. fact uh, uh, and these women are well traveled correct. they in are, fact, yeah, they've uh, seen the world so is, uh, oh, savitri oh. is milking a goat yes. with an apple watch correct. on and then she says where's my daughter right. and that's where you cut to her kicking her head back with a vr headset having her second wave <laughs> we should take a moment to talk quickly about deepak dobrial who's so fantastic as the antagonist i'm not going to give away too much but um did you discover his genius while working on angrezi medium i actually offered deepak uh, the cops role oh interesting and uh, he went back and a week later i called him up and i said listen uh, the cops role will be very easy for you to do because cop is slightly quirky but mm. serious yeah and uh, i said uh initially he was way quirky quirkier but we needed to give him a certain amount of gravitas otherwise what the hell is he in, doing against in, this in this, this lot of people yeah so uh, but so deepak went back with that role and a week later i called him and he said should i come and discuss through i said no i'm changing the role so he said now means you're chucking me out of this i said no i'm giving you a smaller role mm. but a way more complicated and intense character which you've not done before yeah you know so i want his introduction scene is superb it's sort of yeah eating that eating that uh, lunch and i wanted him to play this guy and uh, uh, who is a uh, he's basically a guy who uh, starves himself yeah and he feels that when you when you starve yourself your all your sort of indriyas open up <laughs> and you become sharp and you 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 don't lose sight of what your focus is but he again is he's way more complicated than savitri you don't understand what on earth is motivating this guy but actually it's just right unadulterated revenge that he wants mm. and uh, so deepak or very funny thing happened with him he i don't know whether it was production or whether it was his own uh, confusion but he for some reason thought that he was shooting in the first schedule and he became this character uh-huh. and uh his look is extremely different which his look is incredible because i want to say in that introduction scene because he's spotless he's hairless i mean the face is a canvas i mean he is yeah. every emotion stands out because yeah. it's just bare it's it's and he's and menacing he's, and he's extremely still yeah and he's freckled yeah and so he got into this whole space and i said dude you're it's a bit premature so he's like why kyu hame bhai <laughs> i said because we are in november and you're shooting in jan So he said what <laughs> he said my wife is getting scared of me at home because i keep looking at her as this really this weird creepy kind of and character. she's just like what's wrong with you dude he said enemy character no character <laughs> and i said don't you please stop just wait do something else and come back in jan he said now i can't leave this guy he got so immersed in his character and uh, yeah but it was premature because it was about 3 week 3 months before he had to shoot 
we should end by talking about the possibility of season 2 and whether it's mapped out i have ideas i, I mean i think uh, it's it's a very very open canvas with uh, <laughs> yeah i mean it, it so there's a uh, it's it's a very strong possibility to go anywhere with it sure uh, but you really need to watch it for that because that is a cliffhanger from hell okay it's okay. it's almost like uh, you put the grenade in the audience's hand and you're holding the pin and pin. you're like have fun <laughs> mofos I really enjoyed the first two episodes. I can't wait to get into the next. So I've deliberately kind of avoided asking you all too much of what happens next. I want to discover it for myself. But thank you. This was fun. It's also really good fun to see chicks in action. Um, you all, you all. I mean, Chicken. I would not want to be on the wrong side of the three of you. Um, okay. No, I mean that with with only affection and and, yes. and with with full respect, admiration. of course, admiration and admiration and and, and fear. Uh, I, I've seen. I have a weapon. I, 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 yeah, I carry I, my weapon. Fear. After I'm, the I'm, show, yeah. It so, was, yeah, yeah. I will not. I would Don't never mess. dare. Setting you guys. Thank you so much. Can't wait to watch Super. the rest of the show. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you, Rajiv. Thank you. Thank you.